Um, as far as current MMR goes, we are currently at 3909. That I'm really proud of. Yeah. What the, what what MMR were we at last time? Let me see if I can find the notes real quickly. I think we were in the 3800s. Yeah, I, I believe so as well, right? I think you went up a little. Um, oh no, you were actually on the 14th of the 6th, which is about a month ago. You were at 3693. So you basically gained about, you know, a little, a little over 200 MMR. That's about 220 MMR in a month. That's solid. There we go. That means you're top of the line Grandmaster next year. Nice, dude. Oh God! <laughs> just gonna keep going, man. <laughs> just gonna keep yeah, going. No worries. Just keep climbing. No, but that's really solid. All right, let's have a look at the replace. Uh, I mean, considering it's just one matchup that you're struggling with, you know, we saw that last times as well. Like your macro is definitely on point, so you know that's uh, that's not really the issue. It's mostly like strategy and whatnot. Yeah, just gotta keep on going with the 250 MMR every month. That's. Uh, <laughs> No, that will be that will become pretty impossible at some point. But the practice is paying off at least. All right. So, what will be your like primary thing you you, you say is is not going as well in CVP? Um, I'm missing I'm missing timings. Uh, I'm consistently getting hit at a certain point. Um, it's usually around the five minute mark, and I just don't have a response for it. So, um, I think this game. I remember correctly. I think this is the one where I got a depth pushed. Mm -hmm. So, so, so is it um, like scouting or is it like, you know, just random attacks that catch you off guard or like, what was it? So the last time that we uh, worked, you would talk, you basically kind of pushed me in the direction of playing it like a Terran, just like getting that fast overlord speed scouting for that third. It's watching for the five, like five minute mark. If there is no expansion at the third, um, just to, build units and I been doing a reasonable job of making sure that I scout that and make sure that I know what's happening at five minutes uh -huh. but I feel like it's just still not enough time all right all right let's have a look oh sorry go ahead if you, <laughs> if you want to say something I didn't mean to cut you off nope nope just ingesting coffee all right nice oh yeah you were up early right oh yeah you were up early early you messaged me like seven hours ago it's like the middle yeah, yeah. of the night for you. <laughs> yep. Well, at least you've been warming up, I guess. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just cruise through a couple of the replays. And then um, maybe if there's like a diamond level Protoss in the chat or like high platinum. I don't know. Like somewhere around 3,900 MMR Protoss in the chat. If you could join Group Loco TV in the North American server, uh, that would be awesome. We're on NA, right? I think. Yep. Cool. All right. The greed, I like it. I mean, it's a little risky, but fine. <laughs> if you wanna, if you wanna uh, risk it a little. Yeah. The, this is an all I ever play are unconventional games. Um, that's that's sent, honestly ZVP. Yeah, it's pretty straight. I, uh, strange sometimes. Yeah, he beat me. He beat me to the natural, so I sent a third one out, and then I just decided, well, I've already got the minerals. Might as well just plop down a second one. Yep, it's it's honestly not even that big of a deal. You just gotta play accordingly from here on out, you know. Like if you're spending uh, a whole lot of money right now on uh, on on bases, like you definitely are gonna wanna, like you know you, you definitely want to pull off gas right about right now, just so you can really optimize the mineral income. You know what I mean? Because otherwise we'd be losing out uh, on a bit too many minerals. So basically, you can play quite flexibly, uh, flexibly in in Zerg versus Protoss. It's just uh, there's like a, there's not like really one like go to standard build order, which may actually be the one thing that's catching you off guard as well a little. Because ZVT and ZVZ are a little bit more build order focused, I feel like. Yes, and I am a build order person. Right. Which you've come to understand and tolerate. Yeah, fair enough. All good. Alrighty, so we're going for the quick zerking speed. So I try to zone that out as hard as I can. Mm-hmm, very good. Still gets in. Right. Ah, that's actually, like, even though a couple of workers went down there, it's not ideal, right? But you kill two adepts for it. I mean, three workers for two adepts is, you know, it's honestly not a big deal. It's honestly not, mm -hmm. a, big, not a big deal. I also really like your overload positioning right here, as well as the one over there. I think that one's pretty solid. Um, may want to consider putting the first one, you know, somewhere where you can see them move out. So, like, when you look at the uh, this third ping right there that I put up on that little high ground thingy, that's usually a pretty good spot for them. 
But on that, at least you can keep track of what's going on, right? And you know that right now there's no third up. Mm-hmm. Cool. So for this moment, yeah, I was gonna say, you should probably consider droning here. Now, one thing that we can discuss in a little bit is like the overload scout, right? Because you make the... Whoa. <laughs> He's putting down a couple of gateways. <laughs> Yeah, so the one yeah, I wanted to say is the Overlord Scout. Um. Yep, and and I, and I panicked because I I didn't see so I didn't see the third, and I knew that I needed roaches right away. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's a lot of gateways. Right. So if you were to start making units right now, um, you would be up forty-one workers versus thirty-eight, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I don't honestly think that the, the third base was really worth it just yet. I mean, you see it a lot in, like, professional level play that they go for double hatch before pool. But they usually get up to, like, 50 workers or so at this point in the game, right? They, they get very, very, like, few gas and income and whatnot. So I would honestly stick with, like, single hatch and then take the third base a little bit later, if I were you. Just, just you know, it's, it's definitely viable to go double hatch before pool. But I find it very difficult to play myself as well. And I don't really feel like it's... You know, unless you really feel super comfortable, it's it's just cutting too much into your drone production. So we can just note it down right now, right? So, like, game one, um, at five minutes, you have 41 worker, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we'll just... Um, we'll just simply have a look at the other games as well and see if there's, like, a difference between them. So at this point, like, I feel like that's, a you know, at least a decent amount. But at this point, you really should, you know, start making non-stop army if you want to try and stop this. So... Basically, for anyone that missed it last time around, basically what we settled down on was, hey, if there's no third base down at five minutes, and um, on this map, there could also be this base. So that's a, that's yep. you know another thing to keep in mind. But as long as there's no third base down at five minutes, you should just start making non-stop units no matter what, and you should be in a decent position. Yeah, pretty much this Overlord really needs to... Oh, yep. Really should be about right there. Yeah, so, so this, this hurts right here. See that this went down, and then... Yep, and yep. just watch for that. So so look right here, right? So we just made two overlords because we hit a slight supply book and then five more overlords. That's like 700 resources right there, right? That's a big deal. And that's going to be that's going to be pretty tough to like start making units with right now. So we got to basically be a little bit more on point at that point at, at that moment in the game. I feel like if you want to push into masters in particular, they're not really going to allow you to make, you know, seven overlords in advance and, you know, go from there. Okay. Yeah, so this is honestly yeah, just a missed timing just, right just, here. You see what I mean? Other than that, though, um, yeah, definitely solid. I mean, solid approach. It's just, uh, it's just really finicky. We just need to get the first like five minutes nailed down really well. Okay. I mean, if you need to make seven overlords, that's cool, right? But uh, like, you know, sometimes it just comes into a little bit too much right there. Okay. Um. Yeah. Cool. Let's have a look at the other real quick. Yeah, you're playing, uh, you know, that's the disadvantage of climbing the ladder. You face better opponents as well, I guess. <laughs> if you go up a the whole bunch. The downsides of getting better. <laughs> yeah, the downsides of getting good. <laughs> Your opponents are getting good, too. Uh, how dare they? I know. I should just, like, you know, not make gateways and all that. <laughs> Why would they do that? Don't they know this is about me? Yeah, but I like I like the general setup in that game though. Like you were setting up basically for a macro game, but your opponent was like, "LOL, I got Protoss units," and then he was like, "All right, let's not do that." <laughs> happens, happens. So, so that one I got the natural down in time. Yep. If you need to, honestly, and you see like you're getting blocked a lot, um, Protoss players are like blocking for seventeen hatcheries, I think, like seventeen drone hatch if they send out a worker. Mm -hmm. Um, just feel free to make it at 16. Like, if you don't want to bottle it and you just want to guarantee that you get the ba that the that you get it up every time, um, you know. Yeah, you actually did that in this game. That's why you didn't block. Look. Yeah, you got the base down actually even at 15 supply right now. So that guy, that guy sent out the worker as well to counter a uh, a 17 hatch. So you know, if you if you need to, and actually let's just go ahead and write that down. So like the perfect timing or like the ideal timing, I guess. Would be to like get a 17 hatch up, but like it's totally it's totally okay to get it at 16. You know, it's not a big deal. If you feel like it's throwing you off of your strategy and your built and whatnot, that's cool. Oh, actually, did you go for overload speed before link speed in game number one? I didn't even see that. Sorry. Yeah, I, I was it cruising up. through it. All right, fair enough. I had forgotten link speed. All right. That didn't really come into play there, other than the first two adepts. But fair enough. All right, 
Yeah, no, definitely just consider going 15, 16 hatch. Like, if you say, hey, I want to really be build order focused, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Protoss players have got a, a lot of nasty tricks in the early game. <laughs> Alright, nice. Sending the overloads in the correct paths. Yeah, I've, I've almost consistently every game tried to yep. have those. Yep, that's good. So then I float by and I get to see the natural and then I'm in position for the third. And if I want to, if I want to do the fast scout, I can just cross them. Yep. And then whichever they, whichever one they focus on, pull that one away and the other one gets the scout off. Yep. I would honestly like seeing more scouts to be honest, but um, I don't know how comfortable you feel scouting and doing the whole macro thing at the same time. I feel like the third base is really late here, but I guess you're going for a bit of a different build. I, I see you have been watching. Was this this was after watching Dark versus uh, Hero, wasn't it? Um, possibly. Dark, Dark <laughs> does a lot of stuff like this in uh, best of sevens and best of fives and all that. I always find it really tricky, but well, hey, there you go. That was good. That was really clean. There you go. A little bit of cheese every now and then. That's fine. So the nice thing is here, right? Um, if we go back a little, I don't know if you killed that probe at the third base or what happened. But he, no, he just no, he sent it back, back. Home. Yeah. See, that's that's one of those things for like Protoss players out there. If you're like, hey, how do I counter this build? You just literally don't like. Yeah, you force it back home. I guess you gotta send that first adept out across the map and do some scouting with it, because otherwise you just lose. You gotta verify that the Protoss or that the Zerk has a third. Nice build. Nice build. Well played. It's good on this map. Cool. Uh, yeah, so... Well, I guess in that game I can't really write down your 5 minute uh, work account. <laughs> uh, nice. Have you been doing that build a lot? Or like the, the, the cheesy builds a lot? Uh, no. Not really. Um, I've been slowly adding it in out of desperation just because I gotta find... I've been trying to find something that works. Okay. And cheese usually has got a good chance. Right. Yeah. It'll, it'll, like, you'll hit a wall at some point, though, because you'll see people that, uh, that just scout for the third base and they just, you know, make a void ray and <laughs> you just sort of yeah. die. <laughs> yeah. But uh, then again, I mean, Dark does it all the time, so. Was that the He's SSL? Okay. I haven't even, I didn't even know that SSL was on today. That's crazy. Yep. Um, I think it was the, I think it was the premiere. Oh, is this that why? Season. All right. Yeah. I, so I who think won? I remember seeing that. Who won? Spoiler Hero. alert, chat. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Not too surprising, I guess. Hero's fucking good. He's really good. All yeah, right. Pro Protoss won. <laughs> I was sitting there as like... Oh, uh... come on. <laughs> At that level of play? No, no, no. All right. So, can I rush? Um, what has been your response to the shenanigans lately? Um... Usually it's get Ravagers to try and bile it down. But I think with this one, I remember this game. He never expands over. Yeah, he goes so for the I gold. just I go and take the third and I just walk everything by. Right, right, right. So because I remember seeing that as like, I don't need I don't need to push this because I can take the low ground expansion. Um I never saw that though. Yeah. Never, never thought to scout for that, which is why I end up losing this game. Right. I think I think the best approach is still uh, to go for uh, the Nidus network. You know that that play that that um, I've made a few videos about it. I've done it a whole lot of stream, but I don't know if you've seen it recently. I've barely seen anyone kind of rush lately. Do you know the the build that I mean? Nope. Um. So basically. It's a bit tricky to explain without being able to show you, but I haven't had, I haven't got any recent games. So basically, when an opponent like goes for a counter rush, you immediately take the double gas in the main and you get single queen out. Then you check up straight to watch the lair and you go for a roach warren in the evo chamber. Now, basically, what you do on that very first queen is you inject once, but then you save up energy on it. So mm -hmm. if you go for a knight as worm right when um, the lair finishes up. And you put the queen into the Nidus Worm first. You're gonna be able to get there before they finish up warp gates, and um, with one transfuse on that queen to basically um, transfuse the Nidus Worm right away. So if you put the queen in first, it's gonna have energy out as well when it comes out. 
but it's a bit okay. all in it's a little bit cheesy i guess but i think it's probably your best option but yeah yeah we'll we'll, we'll continue on watch with this one it's i don't know how many cannon rushes you see i see very few of them lately but this is like this is like a map where they can go for the gold so it's a little more common yeah, yeah. this is like the worst one when you see it back right it's like oh come on i could have easily done this yep yep and, and if i scout that gold base it's over yep yep Hey, at least it won't happen a second time, right? At least, uh, at least you won't die to it a second time. At least next time you'll send a link up. <laughs> yep. Just to make sure. No, that's fine. Yeah, it's like a cheesy counter cheese, but it works. Like I would say, I probably have got like eighty plus percent win rate against the uh, against the the kind of rushes. I think it's the reason why you don't really see it at high level. Did he just? Wow, that was a cheeky move. Did you see that? No, what? I'm pretty sure he just recalled probes towards that base. With the mothership core, am I crazy? Yeah, look, he oh. goes with the mothership core. Look at that, and he recalls oh, them to the so other base. Dirty. <laughs> that's so dirty. <laughs> that is gross. That is gross. See, I wow. could appreciate builds like that though, even though it's really gross. But yeah, <laughs> still pretty. Okay, cool. that's dirty. Yeah, at this point, it's just really tough to win, right? I mean. You yeah. assume that he's on one base, so you start making, you know, counters to potential one base buff. And he starts threatening you. Oh, man. What a day. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's being a jerk about it as well. Yep. And, yeah. Because I think because I think at this point, I think I've got him choked because of, like, yeah, he hasn't yeah. pushed down for a second base. But then that should have also been, like, why hasn't he tried? Right. Why yeah, hasn't yeah, he yeah. tried for the second? And then yep. he takes one up at the top corner. Yep. Yeah, so that's essentially game over. I mean, yeah. So um, I can check real quick if I've got a, a more recent game, but I don't think I've got one. No, actually, I know for a fact I don't have any in a recent patch. Um, I can link you a video if you like later on. Um, do Do you see a lot of cannon rushes on the on the on the, on the ladder? No, that one right. was pretty isolated. Okay, fair enough. Now, otherwise, just let me know because I I think I've I've got like the the best counter to it, but it takes a little bit of time to explain and. I don't think it's worth like a half hour of our time right now to uh, go over it, you know, if you don't yeah, see yeah. it a lot. I was going to say, this would be pretty cool. It, it would be pretty crazy if it starts being a, a comeback kind of thing again. Ugh. Happens every now and then, though. There was this guy recently on Twitch who cannon rushed his way to Grandmaster. It's just, his, his nickname was, it was something like cannon rushing or something, I'm not entirely sure. But he would cannon rush every single game. He made it to Grandmaster, so I mean, it's possible. Oh, that guy was like he was like a legitimately good macro player as well behind it, you know. So he's oh, yeah. like opened up kind of. Uh, DJ Sensei, welcome to the family. Thank you for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, buddy. Um, alrighty. Is this uh, going to be a more standard macro game? I assume. I think. I hope so. All right, hatch gas pool. There you go. Even scouting for the cannons. This is game was consecutive to the previous one. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, you may want to consider pulling a couple of drones out of the gas if you uh, don't forget to add them back in. Um, kind of up to you. It's idea like it's better to like pull at least two out, but kind of depends on how comfortable you feel with that. This seems to be a more standard one though. All right, so this guy is pushing a little aggressively. I feel like you probably don't want to move the links out too far because that could be trouble. I was I was nervous for the. I was nervous for the uh, tech switch because I never saw his probe. Right. Because like, usually they just come up and just keep scouting or they go sit at third. So when I never saw him again, I got nervous. So I was checking around to see if right. there was a uh, hidden tech. Yeah. So like the way that Zerk versus Protoss, because this is already game over right now. The way that like Zerk versus Protoss kind of feels is like you're specking full on into damage and you have no defensive capabilities whatsoever. You know what I mean? When you play an RPG, and you play as a glass cannon and you know that if you take any damage, you die. That's kind of how yep. Zerk versus Protoss is right now. You walk this really thin line where you're trying to like squeeze out as many workers as you can without trying to, you know, die. So really, like the only reason why this did so much damage as it did was because there were four Zerklings in the bottom left corner rather than in the natural. That's literally it. Um, hmm, okay. On this map though, um, one really important overlord position is this one right here. That overlord position is absolute gold. Because you could see the adepts move across. Um, okay. So you see the one that I pinged about twenty times. Yep. <laughs> that one. Yep. Uh, that one. Uh, that one's really crucial. Yeah. So this is essentially game over already. I mean, you just yeah. you can't fall behind in workers early. 
Um, let me try and see if I can find a um, a, a quick pro game here of exactly how they approach the uh, Circus Protos <sighs> matchup. Um, uh, let's see. So I got some right here from Base Trade TV that are recent, but I don't think I don't. Uh, they patch the game quite often, man. That moment when your dead game gets patched so often that the patches keep changing. <laughs> um, all right. So I got a Zerg versus Protoss right here between Scarlet as well as someone going by the nickname of Potato. I'm not sure who that is. I'm sure someone <laughs> in the chat can let me know. But I think, well, this is an in-house tournament in Korea. So I'm not entirely sure who's currently at the Base Trade TV house. Um, but I'm assuming it's, well, it's one of the programmers at least. So we can, you know, quickly check out exactly what Scarlet does in this game. It may be a cheesy match. I have no clue. But if we if we have like a, a bit of a longer macro game, at least we can most we, we can hopefully check out roughly how many workers she gets away with, right? Yeah. Scarlet's pretty good. <laughs> pretty pretty good. Do you see her game one against Innovation the other day? No, I wanted to watch that so bad, and I set an alarm, but it was six a.m. and I was like, Ugh, no. Not gonna happen. Then I woke up at eight, and I thought that you know didn't win. So, so have you seen the result of it? Yeah, I have. Sadly, <laughs> her game one was sick. Oh, it was amazing. I wish I would give out uh, GSR replays. <sighs> it was so good, and I and I thought maybe she'd two zero him, and then right. Wait, was was it like a legitimate it. macro focus game? Yes, it was a good game. I saw I saw the series she had against Hurricane as a follow up, and mm. I thought those were kind of disappointing. Those were not good. Yeah, yes. those were her, really, her uh... game one was phenomenal. All right, fair enough. I would recommend uh, anyone seriously find it on YouTube. I know it's out there. Um, Scarlet vs. Innovation. Uh, G. Uh, it's Code S. Yeah, GSL Look Code S up. season three, day Je two. I think. Just watch game one, though. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll put that on my watch list. <laughs> That's good. All right. So, according to Pertrada Cat, this is probably Neep, considering he was there. He was staying there for the GSL qualifier. Makes sense. I mean, Neep is pretty decent. All right. Um, so, let's just cruise through. Like, it's a 12 minute long game. So, I'm assuming this is going to be like a, a relatively macro focused one, right? So, basically, uh, we just try and like somewhat compare this to like the game that you had previously on this map as well, right? Now, obviously. I mean, hey, play as good as Scarlet. Like that's the worst advice, right? Because <laughs> Scarlet is fucking good. <laughs> but at least you get you should be able to see. Like she doesn't play that much different. She just squeezes out a ton of workers. All right, so early game is just hatch gas pool. A little bit of probe shenanigans. Two queens. <clears throat> now, interestingly enough, she doesn't make any zerklings, but that's you know playing her opponent, and then she goes for a third base. So, so far, it's like literally the exact same thing, right? I mean, other than uh, other than um, her like not making the first two sets of Zerklings, she's just simply making mm -hmm. uh, a lot of drones. If you were to have uh, Zerklings out, she would just simply put them right here. Like, oh, I can't ping here apparently because it's a replay, but um, she would just put them in a the natural. Maybe do a little bit of scouting around, but not too far from home. So actually the same thing that you did as well with the Overlord speed and then also the Zerkling speed. Does she fly in the overlords? Well, I mean, she's got that overlord in the background scouting the gases, but other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty much identical, right? Okay, so this is this is like another thing. I think that you've been doing this quite a lot too, right? Where you uh, where you go for the blind spores. I didn't see it just now in any of the games, but I'm assuming you do, uh, right? Should be a four minute blind. Yep. Yeah, this this is like a map specific kind of thing, which is why she gets it slightly earlier in case of proxies, but. That's like a pro gamer thing, you know, not just making the matchup, but like playing the opponent and yeah, the map and everything. I mean, other than that, it's literally the same thing, right? So let's let's go back a real, real quick and see when she roughly <coughs> made made units. She says you made four uh, in the earlier stages of the game. They're literally just hanging out to the natural. She's got full saturation right now on that natural, and she's going for the evil chamber. Now, normally we'd go for the roach warren just because it's a little bit easier to play. Um, but other than that, like, this is pretty much the standard, right? So she's just got four Zerklings. And I think that before she, like, heavily starts droning up that, that new base is when she makes, like, a round of uh, Zerklings. Yeah, there we go. So you see, like, she starts up another bunch of Zerklings. So that's basically it. It's nothing It's nothing too fancy. 
Um, and actually goes straight back into droning. So really, she makes 10 Zerklings, but other than that, they're just li literally just hanging out at home. So the reason for that is because, she, you know, the Oracle play, um, it's going to be all fine and dandy, but what if, like, two Adepts move in? You're going to have to, like, you know, have a couple of Zerklings ready to defend against that. But other than that, she literally just yep. makes drones. Also, like, the gas question you were asking about earlier, it's just one gas. That's, like, the complete center right now in ZVP. Just, just a single gas geyser. Um, drone up three bases and then get more gases. Turn up three bases at wow. Yep. So notice, like, she's literally got up to full three base saturation on one gas. Starts up more zerklings, and that's about it. So I believe Snoot started up with this. Like, she goes even full over three base saturation. She makes eight more macro hatchery, and then it's yeah, it's on one more gas. But I mean, like, making it to this point in the game, like these first five minutes. They're really important, like they're basically the most important part. So comparatively speaking, um, at the five minute mark, she's got nine more half fests than you, you had in the game, right? Now, it doesn't sound like a huge deal, but it's like 20% more income, right? It's a, it adds yeah. up really quickly. Um, I mean, if we can just simply survive to this point as well, mm. we have like a similar amount of economy, you can play it out much more like easily. Yeah, so Potato is indeed Neep. All right, fair enough. Five queens. Yep. I think that's only Scarlet that plays that, but I mean, if you want to give more queens a try, that's totally fine. Well, I'm just trying to think, like, my concern with that is, detected. I just would be worried about spending the minerals. Right. I mean, that just seems like super mineral saturation. Right, yeah, so don't miss any queen index, right? Like, that's <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. Once again, like I said, that super thin line of not missing any queen index and just, you know, making sure that your macro is on point. Uh, what we can try and do, right, is just play, like, a, a game against, like, no one and just, like, play this exact thing for the first five okay. minutes and just see if we can get away with, um, well, 50 harvests at five minutes, okay? Okay, I can do that. Cool. Uh, by the way, Mr. Putra, or Miss Putra the Cat, I don't know, maybe you're an attack helicopter, I don't know how you do Dude, thank you for the <laughs> sub. Appreciate it. It's 2017, I can't make assumptions anymore. What's what's the word like like if you're if you're a male you're Mister if you're a woman you're Mrs. What's the word for attack helicopter? Rotor. Like it's <laughs> RT, RT dot is what the abbreviation be. <laughs> Rotor. I like it. Well, that's the confusing thing about English as well, right? You have Mrs. and you've got Miss. We don't have that in Dutch. We just have one word for like. Married lady and like New not married lady. <laughs> uh, D Grant, thank you as well for the sup. Appreciate it. All right, fifty workers. Five minutes. I'm gonna crush my opponent. Crush him. He's gonna be a very easy Protoss AI with an economic focus build. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able so, to do this. <laughs> oh, okay. he's roughly about training level uh, league. <laughs> Okay, okay, chat, send me your energy. I'm gonna need this. <laughs> oh, I'm, ner I'm nervous, guys. Talk, talk me into this. Keep me, keep me going. All right, let's see if you just can keep that money low, right? So that was lo like your main concern, right? Hey, if I'm only playing a single gas and I'm droning up three bases, am I not just gonna die? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Gotta be mannered against the AI, right? <laughs> They're gonna take over the world in about 20 years, so you gotta be mad at that <laughs> earliest convenience. Actually, 20 years. I think guesstimations were like, maybe a decade. It's alright. What's going on, Wardy? Uh, probably, yeah. If you would like to do some. Rushy and me had a great squad game the other day, that I've been spending oh. most morning editing. <laughs> oh baby, it was a it was amazing. The <gasps> chicken, mm, delicious. We went on the Asian server and we found out that Asian people don't really play a whole lot of shooters. They're really good at other genres, like, but pff, man. All right, hatch gas pool, and now we get started with the drones. So she did also get five queens out, right? You may want to give that a try too. Okay. Let's give it a try. See how it goes. No, GSL goes live every, every, like, I think it's twice a week is when they have a show. The easiest way to find out is with the Team Liquid calendar. 
I've still been asking for years for a uh, proper like in in client calendar in StarCraft 2. I mean, they do a great job at promoting the matches once they're actually on, but there's no way to actually check out when they're going to be on inside of the game. It's a little silly. Don't say that, Wardy. I wanted to believe that we were good. All right, let's get an overlord. I don't have any larva. Oh, shoot. Best Zerk player right now? Probably Sue. If Sue would have won seven GSLs, we would have all assumed he was the best player in the world by a huge margin, but... Alright, let's get the two sets of links as well. I would have simply plant those in a natural. Yeah. We do that scouting across the map with the overlords. No, I'm not the best Zerk, I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, though. <laughs> These guys practice like 14-hour days. I don't, you know... <laughs> 14 hours is a long day. There we go, and now we go drone. Now we go drone, drone, drone. Drone for days. So, as far as the next queens go, you just make them when you've got the minerals for it. We just spend all our larva, we just make overlords and time, and we spend the drones. Um, when we've got excess money, that's when you make the extra queens. Are you saying, Loco, you don't need 14 hour days to be the best? Literally bragging. I mean, that's not what I said, but I'll take the compliment twice. Sure. <laughs> Your Zerg have evolved for whatever good that would be. Get him! <laughs> <clears throat> so remember like before she like heavily started droning up the third base and you can get more you can get more drones for now But before she like heavily started droning it up. She got those um, Like additional six or so links out, right? Yes All right. Cool I have Four minutes uh, blind sports as well. Don't forget about those and we'll also go for the four-minute Roach Warren-ish. Exactly. So once these units come out, that's when you can start doing a little bit of scouting. Ooh, did my Georgia slam? I think it did. <clears throat> Very good. All right, 30 seconds. Exactly. So you arrive there by the five minute mark to confirm what's going on. New subscriber detected. Three months. How time flies with low TV. All right, clock. First off, okay, Brad, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. All right, so we got 51 Harvesters. Now, guess what? Guess how many Harvesters she had? <laughs> 51. It's there the precise go. same number. So, what we have settled, at least, is that you're perfectly ca capable of keeping your money low right here, as well as perfectly capable of hitting all the Queen Index. Now, obviously, I understand, you know, I'm breathing in your neck, I'm watching your every move and all that, but, like... You're perfectly capable of doing it at the very least, right? It may require a little bit of focus and all that. Uh, but honestly, like these first five minutes are like the most important ones. If you feel like like slacking off a bunch, you should do it after this moment, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um I just have to ask <laughs> that before every game. <laughs> <laughs> well honestly though, like this is this is like the moment that you want to be in, right? So from here on out, you can just simply start playing your more like macro focus game and at least at least you should have a decent understanding so like for example right now i mean if this were a real game <laughs> i mean if it was right if it was yeah you, you could just simply you know recognize hey there's no third base just start making non-stop units so that would be a lair that would be uh evo chambers that would be a you know additional like two three maybe even four gas however much you want um and this is like the moment where you start taking up but already like you've 
you know, you've got a really good, like, solid intro here. And it may sound really silly, but, like, drones are good units. <laughs> the game of drones. Yeah. We win or we die. Um, yeah. All right, let's see if we can play against a real opponent, if you like. I mean, right. unless you have any questions or whatever, but it seems pretty straightforward. Nah. Ah, uh, I let the very easy AI win. <laughs> that'll that'll sting on your match history. <laughs> oh no. Uh, any Diamond League Protoss? I'm secretly hoping that someone's going to be available. Once again, if someone is available, um, Group Loco TV on the North American server. We're looking for like a a 3900 MMR ish Protoss player. Nathan. Actually, I'll be Nathan's here. He's Gee, Diamond yo, Three. He's a Protoss player. Jeez. What a man! Put this into GG Tracker real fast. Sure. I'm curious. I want to see. I want to see what it says my spending skill is for that game. All right, can you link me? So I've got yeah. your GG Tracker games right here that you linked me earlier. Yep. I mean, new subscriber Hi, Grandmaster. Yep. Talpor, thank you very much for the 19 months. Um, where did you link me? You link um. Me? I'm just gonna drop it in your Twitch chat, so if anyone wants to see it. Sure. Yeah. So that's literally like you know. I don't know I mean, exactly how goal, this works, but like it, yeah, it's really good, right? Mhm. Mm so you've got some games here that are really good as well. Some of them are diamond, some of them are master. Like in the other game you linked, you had diamond uh, levels spending, and then others were platinum. I don't really know exactly how this works. Um, I guess it like stakes an average or whatever, of, you know, how good your spending is, but I mean There wasn't anything like Crazy happening this game, right? And it gets more tricky when someone's trying to mess with you, but if you're allowed to like sit back and play um, Perfectly capable of, of doing it. All right. Here's what I'll do. Okay. I'll try and like give your opponent a bit of a build to go for okay. and um, Just don't read the chat for like the next couple of minutes because they'll probably spoil what I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, but um, at least um, I'll, I'll try and uh, I'll try and give him a build to go for, and then we'll go from there. Cool. Uh, yeah, and then, then, you know, the transition from here, this is what we talked about last time, right? It's the, the Hydra Bane shenanigans. Because I felt like when you were playing yes. it, you looked really solid. But I think it's mostly the first couple of minutes that can throw you off. Well, and, and that's actually been my whole issue is I... <laughs> we worked on that build and I'm like, okay, I started to feel comfortable with it. And then right. I played like five games in a row where I never get there. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, today is about getting there, I guess. Right. Loco, is this live? I mean, OVN, unless you're watching this in the future, um, unless you're watching a VOD, or maybe I will upload this to YouTube and someone will watch it on YouTube, I mean... But technically speaking, if you're watching this right now on the 10th of July, yes. <laughs> it's gotta be live. Well, well, what time? We have to know what time it is, though. Uh, well, it's 5 p.m. for me. I think it's about, uh, I don't know, I think it's about 11-ish for you? No. One? Ten. Oh, ten? Well, I don't know. Time zones are weird. Alright, you ready? Cool. Ready. Let's take him down! Oh, good Good. have luck fun. Good have fun luck. <laughs> Wait, so is this a rebroadcast? I mean, unless you're watching the rebroadcast in the future. <laughs> <laughs> this can never be a rebroadcast if it's not, you know. But maybe in the future I will add it to my rebroadcast list. And I can rebroadcast this non-existing loco, but it's the eleventh for me. Ah, snap! The Australians are still here. <laughs> there you go. Good have fun, look. All right, so let's focus on these five minutes. Nice. That was the sigh of a person that was feeling really confident. No, it's the side of a person who's been up since 3.30 <laughs> and is running on coffee and the sheer will to succeed. Exactly. That's the way to do it, man. How else are you going to be at 4.2k MMR next month, you know? Like... <laughs> 
No pressure. Dude, no pressure. I, no, I'm, I'm telling scared. you, if I can figure out pro, if I can figure out this Protoss uh, matchup, I really feel confident I can push into Diamond Two. Oh yeah, I no, really easy. do. Easy. If you can get it to fifty percent win rate, for sure. Ah, oh, thanks all. But I gotta stop watching chat now. Now, now. You should probably look away for a couple begins. minutes. Yeah. Donation confirmed. Love your YouTube videos. Martin, or Martini Rotter, thank you for the uh, five euros, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. See, this is what I this is what I usually expect the probe to do. Right, just rally behind uh, in your main. Yeah, just run around, watch me build drones. <laughs> no, he's not even watching it. He's just, he's just rallying it. <laughs> All right, let's make the two sets of links, and then we start droning, droning, droning. Get the third whenever we can. Well, you can make the third earlier, whatever you please. We're not gonna need it for another couple of minutes. <laughs> totally fine with us if he wants to waste excess minerals. Totally cool. Very good. Okay. Donation confirmed. If you need to go ahead and make Just another settlement. Yeah, exactly. I forgot to tip last month. Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned. Exodo, that's always entirely optional, sir. Thank you for the five euro. Man, lots of lots of donations today. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Now I can subscribe to Rushy. He's got a sub button now, guys. Oh baby. <laughs> there we go. Okay, no more links, no more links. We got more than enough. <clears throat> Okay, remember four minute spores and the roach worm. Oh, didn't place. Oh, the one in the natural didn't place. Okay, so keep an eye out on that third base. Try and put that overload into a bit of a more uh, steady position, I guess. Break it. I see that. I see skies blue. And clouds of white. That's what it was. I couldn't remember it. I heard you struggle. I got gotcha. you. New subscriber detected. Loco, when are the coaching lessons for skill level zero? Hi. Thank you, Chris, as well for the reset. We'll see about that. If you co if your skill level is zero, though, you probably can just like play the campaign. All right. Game One sec. Game. All right. Look at the clock. Oh, Rushy. I can't. I can't say I'm disappointed. I mean, guess the amount of workers you're at. Uh, fifty-one. I mean, can you mouse over in the top right corner right now? I don't know if you can, but regardless, you're precisely at fifty-one. Yep. Um, well, that should be three base saturation with uh, one gas. So. Yep, yep, yep. No, you got it perfectly. You got it perfectly. Um, so I just want to point out as well, just, you know, my production tab cheats. Um, I can see that my opponent or your opponent has got 26. So essentially, you're doubling him right now, guys. And the guy's in Diamond League, uh, Diamond League as well. So basically, what the next course of action is, I mean, you got to confirm whether or not there's a third base up. You have scouted one, so it's very unlikely. Um, you might want to check out the other base as well, just in case. 
Uh, but I either way, have links rallied there right now. Perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, just simply start making non slip army, right? I mean, you may yep. want to start up some gases and, and, a, and a lair and, old, you know, the Evo chamber or two, but, you know, that's about it. Yeah, that's did a little bit of cheating, guys. But I want to put it in, in perspective there. Like, the amount of workers you have is staggeringly high compared to his. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready. Game resumed. Nope, I don't want the gas there. I want it up here. Okay, so you see that move out on the minimap? Yep. As long as we keep that money low. Okay, we got three overroads coming in. Just keep him at bay. Try and find where he is. Well, there he is. May want to take the queen switch as well. Okay, keep up the macro. Keep up the macro. New subscriber detected. Oh. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I love the micro in that fight. It was perfect though, like you weren't focusing on it. And that's that's actually like, if you're focusing on macro, it's usually the better choice, you know? Yo, Sir Doodle Bottom, thank you as well for the sub. I love your nickname. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I'll I'll giggle. Right, Gitz? Okay, let's leave part of the army. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't be don't be fooled. New subscriber detected. Man, so many subs. Here, Loco the Great. Here is my Monty tribute to you. Please guide me and protect me as always. Okay. okay. It won't let me click on him. Oh, there we go. Rory, thank you as well for the sub, sir. I hope I'm not distracting you, man. But we get all of a sudden ton, tons of resubs. All right. So you recognize here, right? The macro is getting a little crazy. We're gonna need some additional hatcheries and all that. But I mean, this is what happens when you get all these drones in the earlier part of the game. He's trying to pull a blunt a on you right now. <clears throat> Alright, let's saturate the gas in the natural as well. Very good. And let's go ahead and get another macro hatchery or two. Yeah. While we're at the expansion, that's totally fine. Okay, so he's taking the third base. Now, if we get our money low, we can shut it down easy. Get a Banelings okay. Nest and a Hydra Den and everything as well. This is where we transition into what we've discussed basically last month. But this is the power of minerals early though. Like, I mean, you can imagine right now, right? Um, I mean, you're already nearly doubling him in supply. Um, I mean, if imagine if, those, if that money was at zero right now as well, you'd just be able to overrun him. For, like, you know, you'd just be able to get so much more stuff. Uh, I would probably go ahead and check out the rocks at the third base if you can. Precisely. And we can switch to that uh, that Hydra play. I got no vision of that. It's ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't sacrifice any loot. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's get the Hydra speed and the uh, yeah, exactly. And let's morph in some banes as well. Once we get, well, we actually don't have the gas, huh? <laughs> Okay, let's get the uh, upgrade as well for the Banelings. And you probably, with this amount of roaches, you probably want to get Roach Speed too. I didn't? Nope, I don't think so. <sighs> I didn't have the gas at the moment. That's annoying. I'm not playing this game with you. 
kind of feeling you're gonna need some uh, some banelings here. I think with banelings that would have been a really easy fight to take. Yeah, exactly. I almost feel like you should back up for a minute. I know you're smelling blood. Gotta be patient. <laughs> All right, very good. If you make some, uh, if you make a bunch of uh, of banes, we should be uh, we should be able to roll over that. High five, queens. Yeah, what are you doing? They were hanging out. They're on yeah, holiday, I guess. Let's go ahead and do transfuse or uh, rather injects all around. Because that's the one thing that's holding us back right now. And let's morph in a whole bunch of Banes. Now, ideally, you want to put the Banes on a separate hotkey. Yep. Or at least hold we'll him twice. And let's do a bit of a push soon. We know for a fact that he's going to be running out of resources soon. You got you got an overseer in your army. You have already gathered all that field's mineral. Maybe have a look at his fort base? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, at least take down his mineral line then, <laughs> or, or that. <laughs> and this is why Banelings are the new staple unit of Zerg versus Protoss. <laughs> that was dirty. <laughs> All right, let's make stuff. Lots of stuff. I don't think I have that base hot feed. I don't think so. Swarm! GG. Alright. 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 Well, I mean, he's waiting for you to say GG, I think. There you go. Cool. Um, all right. So, how how did that feel? Was that weird? Strange? Messy? Uh, amazing? Uh, pick an emotion. <laughs> um, if I had to use emojis, it would be, um, cry face, poop emoji, thumbs up. No eggplant, I'm disappointed. I meant I meant emotions, <laughs> but like it's okay. I'll go with this one. This is fine. Um, um that was that was, it was it, it, it's Oh, wrong game. Sorry. It's it's getting lost in in that transition period because that's mm -hmm. and and that's that's my fear with doing so much um minerals and no gas is knowing when when to just immediately like do i just drop four gas geysers almost immediately once i hit that point because there was that brief moment where i felt like i didn't have anything i couldn't do anything because i was so flooded with minerals and no gas right 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 okay well that that's like the transition right there right but i felt like the five minutes um of this like match here the first five minutes um they were like as perfect as can be, pretty much. Like, that's... That you can't really get a better, like, early game than that. Um, okay. I mean, I can I can show you real quick, right? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter. I felt like the, the past five-minute mark definitely can use some improvement. But there we go. We got some emojis. There you go. Um, honestly, though, like, that was really clean. Like, other than, like, the macro after that, um, I mean, this game was focused on the first five minutes, and that's totally fine. Um, after that, I mean, we clearly started flowing way more than we wanted to. Um... That's cool. We can have a look at one of the games from Scarlet, right? And see how she played it out. Mm -hmm. 
see what her transition is. Now, I do know that a lot of the uh, pro gamers have been playing like Bane Ling Ling uh, instead, of, uh, instead of Roaches. Um, it requires a bunch more control and I kind of, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like Roaches are still uh, really good. Um, so she may actually play something a little differently, but we can see how she's like approaching the next stage of the game, you know? But I mean, look at look at the Harvest account. Just hit I and like check out the, the straight amount of stuff that you had compared to him. So like early game, it's just the same. And then we start rocking it forward. This is where the Zerg macro kicks in. It's 30, 34. Go straight up to 40. <laughs> And all this time you're gonna be in a in a good position, economically speaking, you know, you're not really missing any kind of macro there. Now, after you know the first five minutes, once again, those were really good. After those first five minutes, it gets a little messy. You can see like mm -hmm. um, at this point you're you're you know just like not familiar with the strategy. Yeah. But um I mean that's just a matter of practice, right? That's just a matter of practice. Alright. So if you can get to a point where you once again get that this, you know, fifty plus workers at the five minute count, um a transition would be Right, and I'll go ahead and just simply write it down. Uh, transition. Okay. Put down um, four gas. Let's just go with four gas. Um, and I'm pulling that number out of my ass, by the way. But I think that four gas would be a pretty decent amount to start making roaches four in transition. Yeah. Total. No, we put down four additional gas. Put four additional. Okay. Yes, we will put down four additional gas. Uh, one hatchery. Um, let's go with one Evo chamber as well, and then a lair. You can go two Evo if you like. I think you prefer playing two Evo, right? I do like we two can Evo. Probably, we can probably get away with two Evo. Okay, so four gas. Let's let's go three to four gas. See how much you can go with. Um, okay. Three to four gas, one hatchery, two Evos, and a lair. And make sure to saturate those gas as well, right? So you may not want to actually make drones for that if you know that your opponent doesn't have a third base. If they do have a third base, obviously just simply make drones and rally them straight towards the gases. You know what I mean? Okay. Because I felt like, um, basically at this point, when you got through the five minute mark, um, this is like a force of habit right here. You make a gas geyser and you rally the drones into the gas geyser, right? Like it's, uh, it's a little risky, particularly when you know they don't have a fourth base right now. You know that he's, or a third base rotter and he's moving out. You know when you make the gases, you rally the drones straight into them? Yeah. That, work, that works well if you know that your opponent is playing macro as well, but when you know you're just about to be under pressure, I mean... That's a little risky, but... Oh, actually, one of those Immortals was has hallucinated right there. Look at that cheeky bugger. Oh. Anyhow... What, what, what's even the value of that? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I think it makes you want to back up faster. But then again, you weren't really looking at the fights anyway, right? Really. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were doing what I've been hammering on for a long time. Just make stuff. You'll, you'll be all right. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of strange, because you're forcing Zerk to make units anyway. It's not like they're not going to make units all of a sudden anymore. Oh, and also, don't get Carapace. I saw you get Carapace at some point. I think you may have double queued up unit upgrades for some reason, but... Don't get Carapace at all? Well, unless you have already got, like, plus two, plus two or something, but... So basically, like... Wait, first... wait a minute. Carapace or melee upgrades? So, so, no, no, no. So, so you, you want to get melee upgrades and missile upgrades. In Zerk versus Protoss, uh, I'll actually write that oh, down as well. Oh, I did not know that. All right, yeah. So, uh, melee plus missile. So, the idea being, right, if you compare, like, a Marine to, like, a Zealot, right? The Marine attacks really quickly, mm -hmm. and the Zealot attacks really slowly. That means that every single time a Marine shoots, if you have one additional armor on your unit, it's going to reduce the damage by one every time. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. But, like, comparatively yeah. speaking to a Zealot, a Zealot attacks rather slowly. Or maybe a Zealot is not the greatest of... Let, let's say, like, an Immortal to a Marine, right? An mm -hmm. Immortal shoots rather, shoots rather slowly. And considering an Immortal does, like, I don't know, a bunch of damage per shot, it's just going to get that one damage reduction on the unit. Whereas, like, a Marine shoots really quickly, so you're going to get a lot more value out of the armor upgrade. Does that make any sense? Okay, yeah. So, if you're going to play um, Ling Hydra compositions, ideally, or, like, Ling Bane and, you know... Bailings also do benefit from melee upgrades. Um, yeah, missile and melee upgrades is the way to go, for sure, every time. Okay. Uh, that's something... That, that makes actually a pretty big difference as well. Because, like, considering we're playing this Zerkling heavy, if you have Zerkling upgrades, they become so much better. Okay. I mean, I, I think I've shown you that, right? In the Have I shown you that in the uh, unit tester? Well, we can, have a, we can have a look at it if you like. But. Oh, yeah, 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 we've done, we've done that. 
Plus one attack Zerklings are great. When armor upgrades, so armor upgrades in Zerk versus Protoss are a little bit of a, a novelty kind of thing. Uh, against Terran, you get armor upgrades all the time. Because armor upgrades is, is really important against Terran. But against Protoss, it's not nearly as important for Zerk. Uh, does Nathan have time for another game? I think he must be listening. Sure. Nice. Alright, same map. Sure. I mean, it's a pretty Zerk favorite map, but whatever. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's telling me his strategy. That's what I told him. <laughs> All right, we'll let him. We'll let him loose. We'll cut him loose. We'll see what he wants to do. And before uh, mass carrier, I swear, I swear, if he can and rushes me, <laughs> that'd be okay. I'll blame uh, you. You know that, right? That's okay. I don't think he wants to do that. And before he proxies like three hatchery or three gateways and all that. It's like no use for that for coaching at all. Well, there's a little bit of use, I guess, but... In TVZ, do you get all three upgrades? I mean, Triple Evo is pretty uncommon. It was pretty fun during, like, the Legacy of the Void beta. Um, but once again, like, basically you look at your army, you're like, hey, where does the majority of my damage come from? And, um... I mean, with, with, with Zerkling, you know, Baneling, Mutalisk upgrades, or with Mutalisk... Ugh. With Mutaling Bane compositions, you obviously make uh, melee and armor upgrades, right? But if you play, I don't know, Roach Ravager, you're gonna go uh, armor and missile. Kind of depends on what you want to get. Even when you play, um, like actually for, for most of the uh, Zerg vs. Terran matchups, a lot of players will still focus on melee upgrades, even when they're playing Roaches in the early to mid game, just because they know their late game transition will be ultras. I don't know, but that goes a little further though. That's like another like level of strategy, another like layer. StarCraft is pretty like that. StarCraft's pretty great. Five out of seven. Yeah, perfect score. Nice, thanks. Perfect score. There's still people that don't know that meme. <laughs> hey, if you don't know that meme, can you post a kappa in the chat? It would really help us out. Uh, the way you post a kappa, by the way, is with a gray face, no space in the middle. So capital GF. Thanks. We're memeing pretty hard. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. There we go. Oh, see, Loco, people don't know about this. No, it's gray with an A, guys. Gray. <laughs> okay, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> oh, hi, Probe. Look at you. When do you write gray with an A and when with an E? Is that like British versus American English or do you never actually write with an so. A? I, I think so. I think you're know. right. I have no idea how it works. English right, is a strange help language. Him figure it out. It's like we really don't care about gas steals. This is great if you're like kind of rushing your opponent though, so I'd be a little worried for that, but <laughs> I don't think he's going to. With an E is English, with an A is American? Really? Oh, interesting. Oh, it's because the A is an American as well and the E is an English? Wow, guys, I learned something today. Thanks. The more you know. Alrighty! Let's make some Zerk stuff. The beautiful Zerk race. And yes, I just said that Zerk is beautiful. I know. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Hashtag relatable. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. It's my favorite hashtag. <laughs> and hashtag relatable. I love that one too. That one, that one makes me giggle every time I see someone post hashtag relatable. Ready, overlord. It's a late nexus. Well spotted. So what New could that be? So detected. so hold up. Having so much fun watching you play. Ooh, ooh. Thanks for all the fun, Loco. So, thanks thanks for the thanks for the two month resub. Thank you very much, Uma. I appreciate it. So that was a sharp scout right there. That nexus was late. So let's think about it for a second, right? What could that be? Right? So that was a good that was a good scout right there. 
I didn't say a thing. I did not say a single thing. What could that be? What are you putting on right now? So, so my guess would be is that that's probably an early four gate. All right, that'd that's be my option. guess. What what would be other options? Give me give me a couple of bills <laughs> that they could go for. Um, it could be a four gate. It could be, um, could be an early uh, robotics facility. It could be Oracle. Um, it could be it could be a double Stargate into Oracle. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think things he can do off of two gas. Uh, could be early, early blink stalker. M maybe, um, that'd maybe. Be, that'd be bizarre though. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Certainly some pretty good units. All right, all right. So I think you're right in the sense that the four gate is probably a great option. Three gate expand maybe, or like four gate, um, or like the Oracle play. I think those are like the most common two strategies. It could also be very quick Dark Templar, which is not a thing to keep in mind. Um, basically what I'm getting at is that you probably want to go ahead and build a Spore. I mean, I just... <laughs> you know, if you see, if you notice something fishies up, there's a good chance that the Spore is going to solve a lot of the issues, right? Now, you may want to run with yep. some Zerklings here across the map as well to figure out what's going on. Um, because okay. once again, if you see that late Nexus going down, he probably won't have double Adepts moving across. Um, and, you know... <laughs> If you catch in those, like, if you catch on to these kind of things, that's like, that's like a whole other level. That's like, you know, Master 3 to like Master 1 right there, and re recognizing those, like, subtle differences in your opponent's build. Because that Nexus mm -hmm. wouldn't have finished there either, either way, but you notice it was late, right? Um, yep. So, I mean, oh, there you go. All right. But, but like, these are I the kind of things that help out a lot, you know? Yep. I mean, I, I kind of, I kind of spoiled it right there, right? Because I think if, otherwise you probably wouldn't have made a, a Spore Crawler or something along those lines, but... You know, it's like a... If you're gonna plan on building a blind spore in a half minute from now anyway, and you know something fishy is up, you may as well build it a little earlier. Perhaps it if that makes any sense. Yes. Sorry. Focus then. Fair enough. I mean, that's that's gonna trigger him quite badly, though, because... <laughs> this is like his standard build, right? Now, this is honestly, though, like, if you're a Protoss player and you're playing this build a lot, like, one base Oracle, um, this is like... Oh, I saw that. Yeah, good job. You're gonna be stuck, like, you're gonna hit a wall. Because Zerk players will just simply start noticing shit like this. That's a good scout. Okay, we gotta get back to the droning, go. Get back to the droning. No time, like, right now, exactly. Definitely make a spore at the third as well, ASAP. Very good. You get more queens if you need to. If you can't spend your money. Very good. Overlord. Uh, five minutes. Yeah, I'm behind, but I've got the workers queued. I was gonna say you're actually you're actually not really behind at all. So you got it was a small investment to make these ports earlier. So right now you're at 44 workers, but you're just about to finish up seven more in a couple of seconds from now. So like that would bring you back up to 71 or for 50. <laughs> Never do math on stream. Never take that, Scarlet. 71 workers <laughs> in five minutes. 41 plus seven or 44 plus seven. Confirmed to be 71. Yes. Um, anyway. <laughs> Math is solid. It checks out. All right. So this is where we transition, right? Keep uh, keep an eye out on that third basis. See if there's a potential shenanigans going on. And uh, we'll just start making stuff. Okay. And uh, remember, we go 3-4 gas, 1 hatchery, 2 evo, lair. Okay? 3 additional gas, 1 hatchery, oh, 2 evo, lair. Okay? Got okay. it? Okay, I'll try and remember that. <laughs> no pressure. I like the action sounds. Ah! 
<laughs> I don't. I like the first ones better. I don't know about that one. <laughs> that was the. I made four instead of three. Okay, let's get the uh, extra hatchery. Get it whatever you want it. There you go. Cool. Okay, so let's confirm if there's a third base up. I saw that move. Okay, and this is where we start making stuff. Just lots of stuff. Exactly. Okay, so this is where you put down the Hydra then and the Bane Nest. Exactly. So that's basically where you transition into what we talked about last time. Nice. Freaking revelations everywhere. Oh, I was like, what a hit me! Couple of overlords, uh, we're gonna need some. And if you need to, you can definitely get the fort base going. Yeah, exactly. Alright, now there's gotta come a moment where you're like, hey, he's still not really doing a whole lot. Right? Mm -hmm. So maybe when you finish up like Roach Beat or 1 1 or anything along those lines, maybe that's a moment where you really want to start like looking out on the map to see if something fishies up. But if you don't have a third base, right? If he doesn't have a third, you know for a fact he's going to run low on minerals about 10 minutes into the game. That's when those bases mine out. So exactly, just keep making stuff. Exactly, nice. You have already gathered all that field. Beautiful. Alright, so third base goes down, right? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if it matters really that much if you interrupt you every time, but... Um, seven and a half minute third. What are, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Um, carriers. <laughs> that, that, honestly, that's, that's what I'm thinking, because I have not seen gateway units um and i've seen two oracles come out and that would lead me to believe that uh since i'm not getting any pressure from the front with any kind of robotics units or uh warp gate units it's probably mass hair all right fair enough so what will be the approach from here on out um my approach would be uh, uh probably drop a spire Heavy hydralisks, um, get some banelings, try and bust down the front because I've got a. I'm on. I'm on the clock now, because if I let him get more than three or four carriers, I'm sunk. All right, sure. Can I make a suggestion of another thing to try out, just because it fits a little bit better into what you got right now? Sure. All right. So the best way, like, say, say hypothetically speaking, right? If he is going mass carrier. New subscriber. Oh, Lewis, thank you for detected. the sub as well. The best counter I found to mass carrier is roughly 70 workers, four base, so 70 workers on four base, plus two, plus two, Hydra Queen. Now the reason why I like it a lot is because if you're into this like armor or like this, this upgrade state that you're in right now already in the unit composition that you have, the Hydra Queen composition works like an absolute charm. Um, so instead of like spending your extra minerals that you normally would, you know, spend on Zerklings, you start adding on additional Queens instead. Now, there's something mm -hmm. to try out. You may want to, you know, uh, do it in a different game. You may want to try it right now as well if you like to. Uh, but basically, we want to make, like, you know, a bunch of additional drones until we get roughly about to 70. And then we'll, um, you know, start transitioning towards the, uh, towards the other thing. Because, like, like you were saying, right? Because if, if they max out on, on carriers, you're kind of dead. I mean, there are ways to counter it, but you're kind of dead. Um, so I think your best course of action is to start moving across the map just to verify if this is happening because maybe it's not even the case Right just just verify mm -hmm. that this is actually going on because maybe he's playing something else um, But just indeed start making some extra drones for that base So you already started up some additional ones, uh, but just try mm -hmm. and drone up to about 70 and uh, maybe like if you notice hey, I'm starting to flood on bunch on uh, You know a, a bunch a bunch of money right here um, consider making additional Queens Okay Ready? I mean, honestly, when they're playing this slow, it's usually the only thing they can do. <laughs> ah, 
I wouldn't show your army too. You're just gonna revelate it. Yeah, exactly. Or review it. <laughs> revelate it. <laughs> English. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> what we tried avoiding happened just now. Alright, let's guard some more queens up if we need to. Uh, yeah, or overworld that works too. And let's just verify if this is the build that we're thinking it is. I wouldn't, yeah, I would not bother with any of that. Let's try and hit him at the front, see what's going on. I mean... I don't think you want to sacrifice the army, no? No, 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 don't sacrifice the army. We just wanted to know what's going on, and now we can transition to what we wanted. Alright. So, I would definitely recommend going for the threat that I just, you know, tried explaining. Now, we are going to need some creep spread, ideally, to watch his base if we can. So, I'm meaning like a straight line towards the third. On this map, it's a little, little large, though, or a little long, though, so, yeah. So, 70 workers, 2-2, two, two, Hydra Queen. Loco, my strategy is usually to just GG out right here. I mean... It's a pretty sick strat. Yeah, it's a pretty good strat. At least it's like a rage-proof kind of strat, you know? You don't get triggered very much. But uh, you can also just play a ton of Hydras if you like. Now the one thing to realize is that he's gonna run low on resources on his main and his natural in about like a minute from now. He's gonna have to start moving towards a fort. So if you can prevent that fort, you're gonna be in a great spot. I would definitely bring down your minerals and your gas to like mess Hydra. Yeah, let's try and get everything together. So if you can bring the queens as well, that would be huge. Don't sacrifice any army though. Like don't don't sacrifice anything unnecessarily. Oh well, fort base. Your links are trying to kill it. Oh, nice. Just bring the queens across. Just move them off creep. Just move him. Well, we got more than that, right? Oh, we got 10 queens somewhere. They're not all hot keyed. Yeah. Okay, and just make more new ones if you need to. Well, I guess we're kind of supply blocked. Because we're maxed out. Very good. Uh, do definitely make some more overseers as well, because we're going to need a bunch. We only have a single one right here, which is a little too risky. Just make a bunch. At home or something. Very good. There's a cloud of overlords. There you go. Okay, and just make some more queens, if you need to. Very good. All right. So you kind of want to push with the queens, you know, at least uh, ready to get transfused. So just push them on. I would just go for a third base. It's closer. Yeah. And what am I? And what am I transfusing? The queens. You transfuse queens. the queens with the queens. Yeah. Transfusing queens. Ooh, nice spot. Queens. Beautiful. Okay, let's knock down these rocks. And ideally, you want to like lead with the queens. I guess they're far more tanky. Okay, so we got money for days. Just put your rally point over here and just go. Gotta be careful with the overseers, though. What? Go, 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 go. Rally more stuff. Well, where'd they go? They died. You didn't transfuse them. <laughs> Alright, rally, rally a lot of Hydras. Go, go, go. Yeah, exactly. Just try and shut down any of these things if you can. Exactly, that's it. Beautiful. Okay, maybe we want to back up and, and, and regroup. Yeah, they die quickly. They die really quickly. You say tanky. Well, I mean, if, I you, if you I transfuse them... half a second. <laughs> if you transfuse them, they are pretty tanky, but... Oh, Lord, okay. So you slowed them down a little bit. I think you th killed three carriers there. I think with a bit of better control, we could have probably killed them right there, but it's a, it's a good first effort. So with with carrier play, you need to like try and regroup all your stuff. You got to make sure you move in one big clump. Okay, let's get more hydras in here as well. Mineral field depleted. There are no minerals left to mine from that 
you. There you go. If you need to, just go ahead and transition um, the drones towards that newly acquired base. Because it's going to mine out in the next couple of minutes. Yep, very good. Very good. I'm liking it. We'll just do the same thing again. So you got to keep in mind, he's effectively on two bases right now, right? So, I mean, the more you kill, the better this becomes. Okay, definitely get some new overseers as well. We need some fresh blood in here. Okay, let's keep this overseer on hold kit, I guess, and just try and keep it in close proximity if you want to push right now. Okay, let's go. Yeah, just get ready for the transfuse button, I guess. <laughs> This attack move with the queens as well. well. I can't get him! I couldn't hit a single one. Nope. I clicked every single one and I and I got zero training. They were just moving. I don't that. know what they were doing. They didn't do anything. I think you may have uh oh, I think you have a uh Uh you actually had a hatchery in the same hold key as the Queens. I noticed that earlier. I don't know if you still had it at the point that we attacked right here. Oh, Oh, that is a shame. That is a shame. Yeah, that's gonna be game. It's a good effort though. Um, yeah, that's, you know, I guess that's frustrating, right? But it was a good game either way. Like, um... Oh, that sucks. Yep. You can see the army value right there. That was just a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Far enough. Yeah, you can actually rapid fire transfuse it. It actually does work. Um... I felt like he had his number, just had to uh, execute it a little bit better, you know? Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, um, that was that was just uh, part of practicing. Part of practicing. <sighs> anyway, it takes, a, it takes a bunch of time to learn new stuff. It takes a bunch of time to learn new stuff. The Golden Armada had arrived. The thing about the Golden Armada is that it's good if it goes unscouted. If you respond in time like you were doing right here, there's a really good chance you can take it down. Oh, yeah, um, Exodo is saying in the chat, maybe you were holding down shift to try and transfuse? No, um, I was holding C. <laughs> right, yeah, no, you had a, um, I, I, well, I don't really want to load up the entire I, I team. did, I, I saw it, once all the queen has died, all I had left was my, I don't know how or why that yeah, got in no, there. Yeah, there was one, there was one base bound to the same hold key, I noticed that earlier, I wasn't sure if you fixed that. So, I never even saw it. <laughs> yes. Wasteland in the chat is asking, are Vipers viable against the Mothership? So, like, the best option that I have about, like... Here's the thing. A lot of pro gamers love playing their, like, late-game Zerk style against the Mothership and, like, older shenanigans. The thing about fighting, though, mass carrier and, like, mass skytals in general is that it's really tough to kill once you get to a point where it maxes out. Hey, I gotta step away for a second. Just keep talking. Sure. Um, it's really difficult to kill it when it maxes out. So, your best option is to... To simply try and go ahead and kill it before it lays eggs. If you get to a point where it maxes out, um, I mean, your best option is going to be Carrier, Infester, Queen, Viper, Micro. Or rather, uh, Corruptor, Infester, Viper, Queen, Micro. It's really tricky and it's much more difficult than the one approach that I just showed right here. Um, your best option is, for example, to like yank your stuff into or yank their stuff into your uh, Spore Crawlers. At that point, we're talking about Creep Spread and all the other shenanigans, you know? Um... It's possible, it's probably a little more reliable, but it's... I don't think it's very viable until you like hit like top 50 Grandmaster or something along those lines. Um, you can also try uh, Corrosive Bio Fungal Growth. I know a bunch of people like that. I'm not a big fan of it, once again, because... I mean, as long as you like don't group all of your carriers on one big clump, you're not gonna be able to get the bio off, you know what I mean? Like, it's very tricky to, uh, to engage that. Uh, I also feel like, for example, some people love playing the corrosive biles and, and then the infestors, but if there's a single observer, oftentimes you're not going to get a fungal up. I feel like this is like the most reliable approach, and I've got a really good win rate against Skytals with it, so at least, you know, you can make it at least to like, you know, top 200-ish, just, just playing this build. You, you'll probably be alright. You'll probably be alright. But um, yeah, it is it is definitely a timing. Like, once again, we're trying to make sure that they don't max out. If they max out... That's essentially game over. You can't really afford them to max out. If they max out, that's yeah, that's the issue right there. 
Um, and, you know, that's why you GG out with this build as well, because you just can't afford to switch anymore at that moment. But... Anyway, mate, uh, I don't know if you had any questions or whatever about it. Mm, no, not really. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I would say try and keep up these five minutes. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what we mostly focused on right here, drone timings and ZVP, but I feel like it's... Uh... It's like the best thing, uh, you know, to work on right now. I feel like your mid-game style was fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, as always, man, let me know when you run into something. By the way, would you be okay if I uploaded this to YouTube? Sure, that's fine. I mean, I've got a whole bunch of you on YouTube already, right? <laughs> it's uh, It's been a couple. That, that exposure, though. That exposure. Yeah, I'll go ahead and link. Here's the thing, guys. He's been he's been streaming on Twitch. I'll link him down below in the description of this video. In case you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, I'll post a link on chat instead. There you go. Russell Chiro, right? No, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, thank you very much, <laughs> mate, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Awesome. See you later.